All right, thanks, Tim. While the top two choices for vice president set to square off tomorrow night in their sole debate, sharp words continue from former President Trump with jabs back from Vice President Kamala Harris. Willie James Inman breaking down the latest developments. Former President Donald Trump sparked controversy over the weekend, questioning Vice President Harris's mental capacity. Kamala is mentally impaired. Trump used the derogatory comment to say Harris is responsible for allowing what he described as criminal migrants into the country. If you think about it, only a mentally disabled person could have allowed this to happen to our country. The next day, he came up with his own solution for crime, taking a cue from the plot line of the movie The Purge. You know, if you had one day, like one real rough, nasty day, one rough hour, and I mean real rough, the word will get out and it will end immediately. Campaigning in Las Vegas, Harris touted her record prosecuting criminals and blamed Trump for prodding Republicans to kill a bipartisan bill that would have strengthened the border. We need a president who cares more about solving problems than playing political games and demeaning people full time. I'm tired of that. Immigration and crime are sure to come up when Harris's running mate, Governor Tim Walz, and Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, square off in the first vice presidential debate Tuesday night. We're going to turn Pennsylvania red. Vance campaigned in Pennsylvania over the weekend and is traveling to New York today for last-minute debate prep. While Walz took a break from his preparations to watch a college football game Saturday. 